No, it's not. It's not necessarily because of that. I just stay pretty active all year round, you know. So all I really just need to do is to like do a bit more cardio, and yeah, that's it. It's not that difficult to maintain a low body fat percentage, at least <laughs> once you get there. And just do a little bit of restraint. What? The Harry Potter? It, well, send me a link, then I'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look so so juiced up? Did you skip leg day? Harry Spotter, did you skip leg day again? Every day is arm day, sir. <laughs> nice. I, I, okay, you guys know, you know me. I have a thing for muscle mommies. And also, why the hell did they get run the old man? Mean look, the mm, back in my days we didn't count reps. It's your job, Harry, to make sure I keep drinking this protein shake, even if you have to force it down my throat. <laughs> Why can't I drink it, sir? Because I need to bulk, Harry. <laughs> there is no good. I, oh, hold on, I need to send it to my girlfriend. She'll be a fan. There is no good and evil. There is only weight, and those too weak to lift it. Words. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. If you want to know what a man's like, take a look at how much he benches. True. The truth. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Why did they do Hedwig? Hey, Nini. Look at that big ass owl. Can you, uh, can you flex? Uh, you're just a kitten. You, we need to drop some whey into your milk. Or water. Milk. What the fuck? <laughs> That's great, man. Okay, gotta check more of these. Harry Squatter, the boy who lives, come to sex. Okay, now, I guess that generally he does have that look. Yeah. Sorry, Ron, but looking good. Turn to page 394 of your workout plan. <laughs> you know what? If Snape had this physique, he would have bagged Harry's mom. Period. Follow it diligently. Neville! Okay, hold on. Sorry for pausing a lot here. Isn't this... That's the physique of, uh, what's his face? Von Marga? Or is it the guy who, who fell off stage? Michael Earn? They do kind of have a similar shape, don't they? Master has presented Throbby with way. Throbby? Swole. Oh, God. <laughs> You're f***ing Jack Perry. You're fucking Jack Harry. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of gym sessions, if one only remembers to keep pushing through. Those pants. <laughs> Rufus? You didn't have to do this. <laughs> you didn't have to do this. Maybe your song. The crazy gym chick. Harry, did you put your mother fing protein shake in the goblet of fire, you little piece of <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> now that is a nice physique. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, listen, some two years ago, there was this insane thread that I read on Reddit, the Harry Potter Reddit, 
where a guy <laughs> a guy calculated that Voldemort in the least could bench press 240 pounds. I, 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 you know, wait, wait a minute. We gotta find it out. Few moments later. All right, here it is. Um, I've been doing the math. He used one arm to stop a German woman from slamming a door on him, assuming she used the weight of her upper body. I assume it because she's scared and using both hands. And assuming she's an average German woman weighing about 148 pounds. How do you know that? She's closing the door with about 120 pounds of force. The legs of a person make up about 18% of the total body weight, so I subtracted that from the total weight. Voldemort, one arm, exerts more than 120 pounds uh, to force the door open, which, doubling it, gives him a bench press of, well, that is depending on whether or not you, you have the actual equilibrium on both arms because some people actually decide to not use the bench because they don't have a, a, an adequate amount of, of, of force on both hands. Doubling it gives him a bench press off, I suppose, at least 240. Yep, and it's <laughs> one of the first comments. I didn't even like this one. It's so good. You could have done thousands of different things with your time, but I love that you chose this. But yeah, point is, this Voldemort can definitely do that. Never be ashamed of your progress. My old gym buddy used to say, there's always someone who'll try to bring you down, but they're not worth listening to. Wait the fuck, streamers, if they went to the gym. Fuck yeah, next. Fitting. Juicer energy on full blast at the gym today, chat. <laughs> Listen, dude, today we will make something out of nothing. <laughs> so what about it? Does... Okay, kind of looks like Jerma. Well, Emma Rappos already goes to the gym, so it's not like she's shredded, but she, she works out. Cat girls better watch out for Mr. Big Dick Energy himself, because here I come. <laughs> now, Doc, I would actually like him to look this way. Like, he's already pretty fit now, but him having this will fit a lot more with his persona. Very bombastic. Okay, pretty much the same guy. Well, stronger body, stronger action. That's not. <laughs> okay, Pokey, I don't know about that. Boys, the plan is simple get as ripped as possible. That's literally it. That's the whole plan. They almost got the hair right. Huh? Guys, why though? He already goes to the gym and now the face doesn't really... Okay, the ears. The ears, they got right, but it's like... Come on, man. He's <laughs> fucking wide. Damn! Now, this is the look that S fans should aspire for. Which, by the way, okay, I'm gonna say it. You don't need to be ripped, okay? You don't need that. All depending on how far you push it, it can be pretty inconvenient sometimes. It actually annoys me at times when I, like, partake in festivities, when people invite me to, to something and I'm like, oh, I don't really feel like it, like, it annoys me. And I know, it's like me talking super first world problem right now, but it's a thing that happens that comes with the discipline but regardless feel good in your body sorry about that feel good in your body and that's that's the most important but of course also get moving jesus christ these notifications Great points. Uh, uh, the, uh, um, Wait, that's the second one. Okay, well, straight to that we go.
I'm gonna kill that kid. Wake up! Harry Spotter! <laughs> Harry Spotter. Harry Spotter, Harry. Using the squat rack on the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to die under the most painful weight. Your father was a twig spotter. Rotingo. <laughs> Leg day's the best. Don't hide from us, we will find you. Dad? There you are, Jim Rat. Look at his funny muscles. Bruh. What do you see, Harry? It's me, squatting the forbidden weight. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to squat. Do you train leg Severus? <laughs> Always. Listen, last night I'm guessing Snake went to the Forbidden Corridor to squat the Forbidden Weight. That's why he's limping. <laughs> <laughs> he left it too. That means he is your real father. We go tonight. Mr. Potter, your father was a twig. Could never squat more than 200 kilos. <laughs> I'm your real daddy. Yo, you gotta fall in love with Leg Day. It, it, it hit for me some years ago. It, it's wonderful. I usually just do calisthenics for that. But legs is wonderful. It's like one of the biggest muscles in your body. You need to work that. These are small muscles. You don't need to work those out that much. You, you can do those regularly. They will grow. They will look good. Most important, focus on the big ones. Those that involve the big compound movements. They are nice. Want to see my legs? I don't have the biggest legs in the world, but uh, yeah, there. When this gets up on YouTube, I'm going to be called a whore. <laughs> Fuck me.